Hi guys and welcome to the Ready Hop with me Dee. Today I'm going to be taking you through a simple few stretches that are going to focus on the hips. Now the hips is an area where we hold a lot of tension and stress. Um, we can hold negative emotions there so we're going to help to stretch and strengthen these muscles today. Um, there are many many poses that work on this area um, and I'm just going to take you through a simple few today. So all you're really going to need is maybe a cushion to sit on as this can help to tilt the pelvis forward and help to open up the hips as we sit in a cross-legged seated position. So get whatever you need for today's practice and we can get started. <clears throat> so we're just going to start in a cross-legged seated position so you can bring one ankle in front of the other. If this is difficult for you, then you can bring your legs a little further away um, or, as I said, come to sit up on a pillow. You can bring your hands to your knees, come to close your eyes, and we'll just bring awareness to the breath. So we begin to inhale and exhale through the nose. As you inhale, feel your stomach rise. And as you exhale, feel it fall. Slowly inhaling and exhaling through the nose, ensuring the spine is straight and long, shoulders up, back and down, relaxed away from your ears. And just focus on this breath for a few rounds as you arrive on your mat for this morning's practice. On our next inhale, we're gonna inhale through the nose. Our core is tight. So we're just filling up the lungs this time. And we're gonna exhale through the nose with the air slightly restricted on the back of your throat. So it's almost like you're making a sound with your mouth closed, if that makes sense. So if we begin to inhale and exhale. And just focus on this breath for a couple of rounds until you get into your own rhythm. So this is the breath that we're going to try and work with throughout today's practice. Just remembering slow and steady inhales and exhales through the nose. So the first pose we're going to move into is called cradle pose. So we're just going to grab the right knee and bring it to the sole. Bring the sole of the foot to the mat. We're going to pull the shin in towards the sit bones. We're just gently holding on to the knee. You can begin to rock it from side to side. Making sure the core stays tight and the spine is straight and long. Now this might be enough of a stretch for you today, or if you feel like you can go a little deeper, we're gonna bring that right knee into the palm of the right hand. You can come to grab the right ankle with the left hand. We'll bring the leg parallel in front of us. We're just gonna gently rock the knee from side to side, making sure the core is tight here to protect the knee. Slow and steady inhales and exhales through the nose. This is a great beginner hip opener. And gently drop that right foot back down to the mat. We're gonna come back into a cross-legged seated position. And we're gonna do the same at the opposite side. So if we pick up the left leg, bring the sole of the foot to the mat, and just gently pull it in towards us. Now feel free to stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you. Or you can grab the top of the knee and just gently rock it from side to side. If you feel like you can go a little deeper, you can place the left hand at the outside of the left knee, 
grab the foot by the ankle and then to bring it parallel in front making sure the spine is straight and long core is tight we're just going to gently rock that leg from side to side while slowly inhaling and exhaling Bring that foot back down in front, back into a cross-legged seated position. As we inhale, we'll reach up to lengthen. And as we exhale, we'll bring the palms out in front. And hinging from the hips, keeping the spine straight and long, keeping your focus in front. We're just going to gently fold over our cross legs. Again, this helps if you're up on a cushion, if you have really tight hips. Just take a couple of breaths here, inhaling to lengthen the spine and exhaling to gently fold a little deeper into the pose. Next inhale, slowly rising back up to centre. We'll reach the arms up overhead and as we exhale we'll bring the right arm down to the right side. We're going to gently lean towards that right hand side stretching the left hand side. You should feel a good stretch down along the left hand side of the body, down into the outside of the hip. So we're inhaling deeply into the ribs and exhaling. Next inhale, come back up to center, inhaling to reach up and lengthen and exhaling to come down to the opposite side. So bring the palm of the left hand to the mat if your body allows, you can start to creep it out forward, and gently come down onto the elbow. Just do whatever feels good for you here. Inhaling, slowly rising back up to centre. You can bring palms of your hands to your mat. Inhaling, just lengthening that spine, stretching out the spine. So next we're going to come to bring the soles of the feet together. So you can have them as far away or as close to you as you like. Again, sitting on a pillow helps to open up the hips. For this one, you can grab your ankles or interlace your fingers around your toes. As we inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine. We're just going to hold it here for a few breaths. So reconnecting with that breath, slowly inhaling and exhaling through the nose with the air slightly restricted at the back of your throat. Next inhale, again we're going to lengthen. Now feel free to stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you today or if you want to deepen the stretch as you exhale, you're just going to come to gently fold forward Feel a deeper stretch in the hips here. Again, keeping the spine straight, you can push the elbows back towards the calves. Inhaling to lengthen, exhaling, gazing forward, going to gently fold. Inhaling, slowly rising back up to centre. We're going to start to butterfly the knees to loosen out those muscles. You can continue with this. Or again, for a deeper stretch, you can open out the feet like a book. Again, keeping core tight, spine straight and long. Just take a couple of breaths here. Slowly closing the feet back together as you exhale. As we inhale, we lengthen. And as we exhale, we're going to come into a gentle twist. So bring that left arm down to the right knee. Right arm behind the spine. And come to look over the right shoulder. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Inhaling back to centre. 
exhaling around to the opposite side so that right arm comes to the left knee, left arm comes behind the spine, keeping the spine straight and long, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Take a couple of breaths. And we'll come back to centre, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling, bringing the palms to the outside of the knees. We'll bring the legs in, bring the soles of the feet to the mat, and just squeeze the knees in towards the chest, lengthening the spine as you inhale. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Next we're going to come to bring the right leg out in front. We're going to squeeze that left knee in towards the chest. Bring the sole of the foot towards the upper thigh. So if this is difficult for you, you can pop a cushion in under the knee if you find it's just hanging there. Or you can move it down along your leg. You can have it at the calf or the ankle. It's depending on wherever is comfortable for you. As we inhale, we're going to lengthen. You can reach the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to hinge from the hips and fold forward. If you can bring your hands down, you can reach for your knee, your shin, your ankle, or you can grab your feet. As we inhale, we're going to half lift, lengthen the spine, and exhale, gently fold forward. Again, you can work with the breath here, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling, folding a little deeper into the pose. It's also fine to have a little bend in the knee here, if you like. We'll just take a couple of breaths here. Also getting a great stretch on the hamstring here. So it's all connected. So we inhale, slowly rising back up to centre. You can release that left leg out in front. We're going to bring the right knee in towards the chest, inhaling to lengthen the spine. Open that right hip out to the side. Again, you can have a bend in the left knee here if you like, or pop a little cushion under your right knee if it's open out to the side. So we inhale and lengthen, exhaling, hinging from the hips, we're going to come to fold forward. Again, you can reach for your knee, your shin, your ankle, or grab the foot. Inhaling to half lift, opening the chest, and exhaling to gently fold forward. up overhead, lengthening the spine, and exhale to release. So next we're going to come to open both legs out to the sides. Again, it's great to sit up on a cushion here to help to tilt the pelvis and open up the hips. So it's okay to have a bend in the knees here if you like, or stretch the legs out in front, keeping the feet active so the toes are pointed back towards you. You can come to bring your hands behind your back to lengthen your spine. And you could stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you today. And just hold it there for a few breaths. Or you can come to bring your hands in front. As we inhale, we'll lengthen. And as we exhale, we're hinging from the hips and we're going to come to fold forward. So again, your gaze is focused ahead. You can start to walk the hands down so you can bring your hands towards your knees, your shins your ankles, or you can aim to interlace the fingers around the toes. It's also a possibility to bring the palms in front and just start to creep the palms forward. And with each exhale, we're going to try and fold a little deeper and deeper into the pose. So we're inhaling to lengthen the spine and exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling, slowly rising back up to centre. You can grab the back of the knees. Bring the soles of the feet in front. You can again give the knees a hug into the chest. So from here we're going to come into a Mary Chasana C. 
So we're going to again stretch the right leg out in front. We're going to pull that left knee in towards the chest, keeping the right foot flexed so the toes are pointed back towards you. As we inhale, we're going to reach the right hand, sorry, the left hand, and bring it behind our spine. We're going to pop the opposite elbow. You can either grab your knee or bring the elbow to the outside. So we're going to come into a gentle twist. Inhaling, raising the right hand, coming back to centre, and we'll do the same with the opposite side. So we're going to pull that right leg in towards the chest, inhaling to lengthen the spine, keeping that left foot flexed. Again, you can have a bend in the knee here if you like. Inhaling, we're going to raise the right hand, bring it behind the spine. As we exhale, inhale, raise the left hand. You can just come to hug that right knee looking over the right shoulder, or you can hook the elbow if you want to come into a deeper stretch. Come to look over the right shoulder. We'll hold it here for a couple of breaths. Inhaling, coming back up to centre. Stretch the legs out in front. As we inhale, we lengthen, and as we exhale, we come to fold forward, hinging from the hips, again, reaching for the knees, the shins, the ankles, or you can interlace the fingers around the toes. As we inhale, we're going to half lift and open the chest to lengthen the spine, and exhaling, coming to fold forward. Inhaling, reaching the arms up overhead to lengthen. Exhaling, just bring the palms down by the side, down by the sit bones, keeping the, the feet flexed. You can have a bend in the knees here if you like. And we'll just take a couple of breaths here. Spine is long, core is tight, shoulders are relaxed. And release. Again, we'll come to hug the knees into the chest. Just give them a squeeze. Lengthen the spine. We'll take a breath here. So next we're going to come into what's called malasana. So we'll bring our feet either hip distance or a little wider apart. We're going to push into the palms and come up onto either the balls of the feet. So some people might find here is good for them. You can come to lean up against the wall for this one as well or pop um, little props like a li your little cushion in under your feet for support and you're leaning back against the wall or if you find that this is okay for you you can try and lean back into the heels. You can keep your fingertips on your mat for support if you like or if you feel like this is okay we're going to bring our hands into prayer at heart centre so we're pushing on the knees with the elbows Again, leaning up against a wall is fine here, or if you find you're up on your toes, you can put a little prop under there to help with your balance. And just hold it here for a couple of breaths. Making sure core is tight, spine remains straight and long, shoulders and neck are relaxed. And exhale to release. We're going to come to lie down on our backs. So we can slowly lower down with control. Our knees bent, soles of the feet flat on the mat. And we're going to bring the feet hip distance apart. It's a good bend in the knees. And we're going to come to cross that right ankle over the left knee. And push that right knee out to the side to open up the hip. So feel free to stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you today. And just breathing deeply into the hip region so you feel a good stretch here. If you want to deepen the stretch, 
we're going to lift that left leg off the mat. You can come to interlace the fingers at the back of the knee, or you can thread them through and grab the front of your shin. Take a couple of breaths here. If you want to deepen again, you can raise the forehead and bring it towards your right ankle. Exhale to release. Slowly lower that left foot down to the mat. Uncross the ankle and we're going to do the same at the opposite side. So we're going to cross that left ankle over the right knee. Pushing that left knee open. So again, feel free to stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you today. If you have really tight hips, it's perfectly fine just to stay here. And breathe deeply into the hip region. If you feel like you want to deepen the stretch, again, we're going to lift that right foot off the mat, thread the hands through, come to grab the back or the front of the right knee, but just by the shin, pull the legs in, take a couple of breaths here, making sure that the shoulders remain flat on the mat. However, if you do want to deepen the stretch, you can lift the forehead towards that left ankle, Take a couple of breaths here. And release the legs back down to your mat. So we're going to come to cross the legs. So we'll cross the right knee over the left leg. Then we're going to come to hug the knees into the chest. So you can grab the knees, you can grab opposite ankles. We're going to try and Pull the ankles in towards the sit bones. So it's kind of like a um, reclined cow face pose. So feel free to grab the ankles or the knees, pull them in towards the chest. Take a couple of breaths here. Exhaling to release. We'll come to do the same at the opposite side. So we'll uncross the knees. Cross the left knee over the right and we'll hug the knees in towards the chest. So pulling on the knees, we'll come to grab opposite ankles, pulling the ankles towards the sit bones. Do whatever feels good for you here. You shouldn't feel any strain or discomfort, just a light stretch. And take a couple of breaths. And release back down to the mat, uncross the legs. You can bring the feet close together, pushing into the soles of the feet. Palms are flat on the mat. We're going to gently shift the hips towards the left hand side and let the knees fall down towards the right. Then you can bring your hands into a T shape and come to look over the left shoulder, making sure that the shoulders remain flat on the mat. If this is okay for you, stay here. Or if you feel like you want to deepen the stretch, you can cross that left leg over the right and bring it onto your mat. It's a deeper stretch. You can even bring the right hand down to that left knee. Take a couple of breaths here. Stacking the knees, looking back up towards the ceiling. We'll bring the knees back into centre. Pushing into the soles of the feet. This time we're going to shift the hips towards the right hand side. And then we're going to come to drop the knees towards the left. You can come to look over the right shoulder. You can stay here. Or again, if you want to deepen the stretch at this side, you can cross that right leg over the left. Try and bring it down towards your mat. You can even bring that left palm down towards the right knee. Inhaling, stacking the knees, looking back up towards the ceiling. We're going to bring the knees back up to centre. We'll hug the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. You can gently rock from side to side. Or move in a circular motion, first one way and then the other. Exhale. 
as you come to stretch your legs out in front as we relax in Shavasana. So let your heels naturally just fall open to the sides. Arms come away from the body, palms facing up. As we come to relax in Shavasana, feeling the benefits of today's practice. So just bring your awareness back to your breath. As you slowly bring your breath back to a natural rhythm. And just notice how your stomach rises as you inhale and falls as you exhale. Just focus on this breath for the next few moments as you allow your body to sink into your mat and feel the feeling of total relaxation. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need. And whenever you're ready to come out, you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to move your wrists and your ankles. Gently rock your head from side to side. Reaching your arms back overhead, bringing the feet together and stretch the whole body. As you exhale, bring the knees up towards the chest. Exhaling, rolling onto your right side. We'll take a breath here. Whenever you're ready, you can push up into a cross-legged seated position. We'll bring the hands to the knees, lengthen the spine. Your eyes can remain closed. Inhaling, reaching the arms up overhead, bringing them into prayer. Exhaling, bringing them back down to heart center. Namaste.